The first two years of his life, he was in what is called a puppy raiser home, where they teach him basic obedience, some find commands like find the curb, find the sidewalk. And then he goes back into the actual guide dog school for his advanced training, where they teach him how to work with traffic and more advanced um, find commands. And then he's paired with me. <laughs> I don't have just one, I got a bunch of them. Well, I can tell you a story of when I was actually training with him. <laughs> We were at the mall, and they took us into one of the, I don't, I don't remember if it was like JCPenney's or what, I don't remember what store it was, and he decided to go shopping. He went first for the hats by sticking his head into the, to them, uh -huh. and then he just decided to pick out makeup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back in August. Of, uh, he's getting where he's stressed when he's in work mode, which isn't good. He's he's tired. He's just ready to be a, a pet. I have mixed feelings about that. I know it's the best thing for both of us, but the thought of walking away from him is a painful one. He wants to be part of it. That's fine. <laughs> Bristol, do you want to be interviewed too? <laughs> I can't really answer that. It really depends on the dog. I mean, each dog is different. So with Bristol, the bond was almost instant. But I've known others that it takes time. I'm getting excited about it. Because there's so much I want to do now that I can't really do because of Bristol's limitations at this point. I still won't forget the first time I walked with him in harness. Just the overwhelming feeling of having control for the first time. Because he gave me something that no one, no other dog could ever give me. Freedom. He showed me that I can walk independently without anyone's assistance.